So, to swap skill rings quickly, we can yet again make use of chat shortcuts, and this can save you the trouble of having to go through the interface every time. However, do note that this will require a keyboard. But getting right to it, open your escape menu at the bottom, head over to the gear icon, then chat settings, then chat shortcuts at the top left in the pop-up window. In this window, each shortcut line can be activated by default with Ctrl plus F1 through Ctrl plus F10. Though, this can be somewhat changed in the options and I'll get to that in a minute. But for now, for your ring commands, choose a line and then start with forward slash, S, and then R. Then, leave a space and put in the name of the skill ring you want to swap to. However, with this, you will need to type the entire name in without spaces. And this includes the L or R in brackets at the end too. So for example, this is what my Jet Boots ring name looks like normally on the item. And here's how I would need to type it in for the shortcut window. Once that's all set, make sure the rings you want to swap to are in your inventory. You will know it's working when you use the command and you see a notification at the bottom of your screen that says your equipment has changed. And that's all there is to it. Something I forgot to mention in my last chat commands video was that you can actually have multiple commands per line too. So one could actually have a ring tied to a sub palette or weapon palette, but keep in mind that there is a short delay when using these commands at times. So you may be better off keeping things separate. But try it out and see what works best for you. Moving on, if you'd like to change the shortcut keybinds, you can open up the escape menu, gear icon, then settings. In the pop-up, choose control settings in the left, then keyboard keybinds, and then finally shortcuts at the top. Unfortunately, there isn't too much you can change here, but here is where you would do it. I understand that this is not the most optimal type of binds they could have set up, and I still don't quite understand why they did it this way myself, but it is the way it is. In the end, I simply wanted to show you guys how to use these commands either way, and then leave it up to you to use them or not. The best way I could suggest using these would be to make a combined key press or a quick macro to one of your programmable PC peripherals. If you aren't in the position to be able to do something like that, it may be a little annoying, but still hopefully faster than having to always go through menus every time. I hope this has helped a few people, and with that, take care.